Welcome back guys, and we're back again with another tutorial, and this time we're going to be covering the subject of moving your single player Minecraft world from Bedrock this time over to a server. So before we get started, one thing I would suggest is FileZilla here, just if you head to the site, it's uh, FileZillaProject.org, as you can see on the top, I'll also post a link in the description, um, and you can download the one that works for you, so either the 64-bit or the 32-bit. So first of all, we're going to need a world, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a world quickly, um, and I'll just put something that's memorable in it. So I've loaded in the world, and and I'm going to come over here and build me something that I want to transfer over to the other world. So we've built our really awesome house now we want to transfer it from our single player world onto our bedrock server. I'm going to find on the top of our list that we've got my world here and we're just going to head over to the edit section. Over here we're going to just change the name over and we're going to change it something over uh, something easy so we're going to do bed one. So we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're going to go to export world. So here you can choose where to actually export it to, you can create a file for it, I'm just going to do it to my desktop just so it pops straight up. So now on my desktop I can see bed1, however the only problem is, is that it's in an MC or a .mc world file um, and we can't upload that to our server. So what we do is move up um, and I use my 7-zip here and I'm going to head to extract file. I'm going to choose the location so I'm going to do it on the desktop again. And as you can see, we've got a folder right underneath, and if you double-click it, it's actually got all the files there. Now this is where FileZilla is going to come in handy. So to connect your current server to your FileZilla, what you're going to need is you're going to need to fill in the host username, password, and port. Of course, the FTP address is the host. FTP port is the port number on the end. The FTP username will be the username that you input there. And your Multicraft password will be the password that you normally use to connect onto your Multicraft. Now before we do this I'd always recommend to actually stop the server before we move the world over. And now we can come to the FileZilla again and if you look on the right hand side, uh, once you've connected it's going to come up with all the files on your server and on the left hand side are all the files on my side which is on the PC. So on the right side here we're going to come down to worlds and you're going to see there's a number of worlds here that I've already set up already. Now if we come over to the left hand side, now I know that I've put it in bedrock. Uh, sorry, on the desktop, so I double click on there and you can see my file is right there. The MC World one's there, however that won't be uploadable to the server. However this one will because we've extracted the files. And all you're going to do is you're going to hold it or click it and hold it down and you're going to drag it over to this side. And you'll see a little thing pop up on the bottom saying transfers finished once you've done. Now as you can see on the right hand side it is downloaded as a file onto your server and you've got to remember the name here. So bed1, this has got to be spelled exactly the same, same capitals um, or lowercase, all got to be the same when you type this out now because you're going, to t you're going to go back over to your Multicraft control panel. And the way that we're going to load the world up is we're actually going to change the name here to exactly what the file was. So bed1 and we're going to hit save. So server settings are now saved and we're going to head up and start the server. So as you can see on the bottom there we've got opening worlds and we've got bed1 because that's the file that we've just uploaded so it's found the correct file or world and it's now uploading it. So now to check it out and make sure that it's actually connected and we're going to go hit play, we're going to head over to servers and then scroll down to this one. I've already connected using the IP um, earlier when I actually connected to the server so it's the same IP and it's coming up as online. So let's just connect now and make sure that it's the same world. So just like that I've appeared and right behind me is the house. So this is now copied over the entire world um, that you have brought over and it's on your server. So I hope that's helped guys just to move over your worlds easily onto a server once you do start hosting one. For more knowledge based videos you can always check the Seekerhost website and of course my channel. So with that thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.